In 1867, Kansas State University held its first commencement. Three women and two men graduated that year. As the first land-grant university in the nation, this fledgling university had a vision of providing innovative education to all people. That early vision has continued through to the present. With over 250 majors and a diverse student body, including students from all 50 states and more than 100 countries. Becoming one of the nation's top 50 public research universities by 2025 is today's vision for tomorrow. With academic programs among the best in the nation and professors who are leaders in their fields, Kansas State University is an international leader in teaching, learning, service, and research. Today's graduates join over 200,000 alumni who are proud to call K-State their alma mater. Congratulations! And thank you to all those who have supported them through their undergraduate experience at Kansas State University.
Welcome to the Fall 2015 Commencement Exercises for the College of Business Administration. I am Kevin Gwinner, Interim Dean of the College. I am pleased to introduce Ms. Miranda Burns, graduating senior in entrepreneurship, to sing our national anthem. Please remain standing. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the Thank you, Miranda, that was amazing. Would everyone please be seated? Before we proceed with our program, I would like to introduce the members of the platform party. Please hold your applause until the entire platform party has been introduced. Beginning at my far left, we have Dr. Brett Wilkinson, head, Department of Accounting, Dr. Eric Higgins, Head, Department of Finance. Dr. Stacy Kovar, Associate Dean for Academic Administration. Mr. Kenneth Seltzer, Kansas Insurance Commissioner and today's commencement speaker. Dr. April Mason, Provost and Senior Vice President of Kansas State University. Dr. Kirk Schultz, President of Kansas State University. Dr. Schwinn Shu, Associate Dean for Academic Programs. Mr. Ming Mack, CBA Outstanding Graduating Senior and Student Speaker. Mr. David Lehman, Instructor, Department of Marketing. Dr. Esther Swilly, Interim Head, Department of Marketing. Dr. Bill Turnley, Interim Head, Department of Management. And Ms. Amy Button Rents, President and CEO, Kansas State University Alumni Association. Let me take this opportunity to also express our appreciation to our outstanding marshals, Dr. Donita Whitney Bramerlin and Dr. Janice Crow. We appreciate your willingness to serve. I am delighted that you are here to join us in this special event in the lives of our graduates, an event that marks the culmination of many years of hard work and sacrifice in the pursuit of knowledge, a meaningful career, and a promising future. Graduates, today is a wonderful day of celebration for you and your families. I am privileged to have the opportunity to share this very special occasion with you. No one, however, is happier or prouder of your educational accomplishments than those loved ones gathered here today. I want to take this moment to acknowledge the encouragement and support your families have provided for your success. Would the parents, spouses, and children of our graduates please stand and be recognized? <clears throat> Although we are here today to honor the accomplishments of the graduates, we would be remiss if we did not also recognize the faculty and staff who have worked diligently with our graduates in completing their studies. 
In honor of the faculty and professional staff who have served you with such dedication, I ask you, graduates, to please stand and applaud their contributions to your success. I am pleased to have this opportunity to publicly recognize the recipients of three prestigious college awards. Dr. Satoris Culbertson, Associate Professor of Management, is the Fall 2015 CBA Outstanding Contribution and Research Award recipient. Dr. Bungsog Che, Professor of Management, is the recipient of the Kansas State Bank Teaching Excellence Award for 2015. And Mr. Michael Raines, Director of Information Technology, Products and Services is the first recipient of the newly instituted CBA Professional Staff Excellence Award. Congratulations to you all. We are honored to have Kansas State University President Kirk Schultz and Provost and Senior Vice President April Mason join us today to congratulate our graduates. Thank you for being here, President Schultz and Provost Mason. At this time, it is my great pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, Mr. Kenneth Seltzer. Kenneth A. Seltzer graduated with honors in 1975 with a BS in accounting from Kansas State. He earned a master's degree in business administration from the University of Southern California. In 2014, he was elected as the Kansas Insurance Commissioner and began serving in that position on January 12, 2015. He previously worked in the reinsurance industry for more than 30 years, most recently as an executive managing director for a worldwide brokerage and insurance services firm. In addition to his credentials as a certified public accountant, Ken has earned a number of professional designations, including chartered property and casualty underwriter, associate in reinsurance, and fellow of the Life Management Institute. Ken is active in many professional, community, and charitable organizations. He has served as president of the Rotary Club of Leewood, Chairman of the Kansas Society of CPAs Educational Foundation and President of the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation Heart of America Chapter. He currently serves on the Dean's Advisory Council of the Kansas State College of Business Administration and is a member of the KSU Foundation Board of Trustees. A fourth generation Kansan, Ken grew up in McPherson and Marion Counties in Central Kansas. He has been married for 34 years to his wife, Deb Grimes, from rural Miami, Kansas. They have two daughters, Mallory and Mackenzie. Ken and his wife provide scholarships for graduating high school seniors in the Gossel United School District in Marion County and also support scholarship programs at Kansas State. It is our privilege, Ken, to have you address the fall 2015 CBA graduates. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Ken Seltzer. Thank you, Dr. Gwinner, for that very, very kind introduction. Thank you, class of 2015, for inviting me to speak. And thank you, K-State, for giving me that degree in 1975. You enabled me to get a job with one of the premier accounting firms in, in Kansas City, where I started my career as a CPA. So thank you very, very much. Let's start by giving recognition to the KSU Executive Mentor Program. Uh, and its director, Emily Brusecki. It's a program that remains unparalleled in the state of Kansas. Many others are trying to duplicate it and they're having a tough time getting to where we are. It's a, it's a forerunner. It's doing really, really well. I want to ask, how many of you in this graduating class have uh, worked with the Executive Mentor Program? Excellent, excellent. When you have been in the workforce for a few years, I want you to remember to please give back in that way. Remember how much good it did for you and volunteer as soon as you become eligible to do the same for a student back at K-State. Uh, so promise me that, that you'll do that. It's really, really, truly your personal obligation to play it forward. I do want to point out the organist this morning. This is the 23rd processional ceremony I think that you've played for at K-State, give or take a few. You might have a few more before it's all over. He is my executive mentee, Stephen Cusera. So Stephen, thank you very much for what you do for K-State and for doing this. <laughs> I 
I love being a wildcat. One of the really great decisions I made in my life was to marry a Jayhawk. Maybe, <laughs> maybe in spite of the fact that she was a Jayhawk, but she, she's been quite a help to me. I certainly enjoyed, I want to point out that I, I certainly enjoyed watching that uh, K-State KU football game at KU a lot more than she did a couple weeks ago, if you remember the outcome of that. But I want to say I love you, Deb. Go Wildcats! <laughs> I'm one of you. I'm one of the many hardworking, dedicated students who worked their way through college. While a student here at K-State, I worked two jobs at once. I often work two jobs at once, including several semesters when I served beer at Kites for three to four nights a week and then was the projectionist at the Forum Theater there in the Student Union. I want you to know that fortunately my parents only knew about the projectionist job. They didn't know about the beer serving job. I've been both fortunate and very, very lucky in my career since my adventures at KSU. I want to believe this is in part because I try so hard to be grateful always grateful to others for both the small and large things they have done for me and more for my family. So let's talk about gratefulness for just a little bit. I know most of you are sitting there with your, with your phones checking Instagram or Facebook rather than listening to me and texting your friends. Let's put that to good use. Right now, yes right now, if your parents or a good friend are up in the stands, send them a text and tell them you love them. Okay, get after it. I know, I know some of you, some of you, using the word love in the same sentence with your mom or dad is kind of a stretch. So just tell them thank you. Thank you for helping put you through school. You need to be grateful and grat have gratitude for it. Gratitude will go a long, long way. When someone offers a suggestion, say thanks. Don't argue with them about the merits of the suggestion. Your thanks shows respect for their idea. It shows that you want to learn, and importantly, it may even show that you are as smart as they are. How about that? I often end my texts and my emails on, or conversation with the word thanks. People appreciate it, and in turn, appreciate you. If you are thankful to others, you will be viewed by them as happier, friendlier, and yes, believe it or not, even a more intelligent person. Your friends, your family, and even your new employer will all respond favorably to you. Okay, has anybody got a buzz back from your mom or dad saying, I love you too? Has it come back? All right, do it. Wave your hand if somebody sent you a text back. There you go, all right. Your mom and dad love you. And parents, this is a two-way street. If that student with that expensive education which you just paid for has sent you a text now, please respond. Don't call him or her. Text them. In my experience, though, I do want to talk about another trait of experienced people uh, besides being thankful or having an attitude of gratitude. Those successful people are proud. They're proud without being arrogant. They are proud without being focused on themselves. They are especially proud of the people around them and the institutions they associate with and the work they have done that has benefited others. Likewise, they are proud of their friends when their friends have had success, even the very small successes. They are never jealous, just simply proud of the accomplishments of that friend or of that coworker. The successful people always take pride in the success of others, of the progress a family member has made, of the figurative mountain that a friend has successfully climbed, or the success for, of the company for which they work. What these successful people are not is proud of themselves. They enjoy the small successes they have along the way, but it is the pride in the, in the associations they make that is so helpful to others. In turn, other people become interested in associating with them. So think about that for a little bit. You can readily check off the few at attributes that most successful people have as they rise in the business and political world. There are always exceptions. However, most successful business executives and even political leaders today have one thing in common, a good education. And yes, in a few minutes, you'll be able to check that one off of your list. And also, most of the successful individuals in the business and political world are curious. They're curious people. 
They want to know more. They are interested in why something is the way it is. They are interested in what motivates the other person. And by the way, I'd tell you too, excellent managers are exceptionally good at finding out what motivates other people because they're curious about that other person. Always be curious. Successful people are always looking at how disparate items relate to each other and are thinking of connection between those items. This is how you learned as a baby. This is how you will learn as an adult. And yes, it's even how college students about to graduate learn. They look at how things relate to each other. Curious people often like to read, though not always. You can learn from books and you can learn from people. And of course, the really intelligent ones of us get all of our information from Facebook. Not. Most of us use two or three of these techniques extensively. Stay in the habit of reading. It will do you well. It will do your children well if you develop the habit of reading. And you, you say, I've read for four years now at college. Find, find a way to read about current events, read books, read literature. So what have we learned? Be grateful or thankful, however you want to describe it. You will win friends and improve your leadership skills by being thankful. That's number one. Be proud. Be proud of your friends and proud of the organizations you belong to. Be proud of K-State. Be proud of Kansas in your country. And lastly, stay curious. I've taught enough college classes to know that for some of you, the curiosity ember might burn just a little bit low. Stoke it though, stoke that ember and sustain it and see what it does for you. You will be surprised. And one last request, I say this as an elected official, stay in Kansas. We need your skills and your degree in the workforce here in Kansas. We have one of the lowest unemployment rates in the nation. We have more degreed, we need more degreed employees to stay right here so we can attract even more employers. We have incredible, incredible opportunities in our state. Put your degrees to work here. You will benefit and the state of Kansas will benefit. So, thank you for listening. Be proud to be a Wildcat. Be proud to be a Kansan. Be proud to be a Kansan because I am proud for you being this close to graduations. Congratulations, graduates. Ken, thank you for your inspirational remarks and for your eloquent challenge to our graduates. Would you join me back up? Please accept this expression of our appreciation for your participation in today's ceremony. During today's ceremony, we are grateful to have Amy Button Rents, President and CEO of the Kansas State Alumni Association in attendance. She will say a few words on behalf of the Alumni Association. Good morning, well, almost afternoon. Um, I'm pleased to be part of your special day and offer congratulations on behalf of the K-State Alumni Association, representing more than 178,000 graduates who will be your lifelong K-State family. Today, as you receive your degree, we are honored to recognize you and all you have accomplished. We are also here to welcome you into a new relationship with your alma mater. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. I would like to share three of our core values that guide us in our mission to keep you connected with K-State. The first one is LINK. The Alumni Association provides the lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities held on campus, throughout the United States, and internationally. Another value is tradition. You will likely celebrate a few traditions today as you sing the alma mater and also take KSU photos at your favorite spot on campus. The third core value is purple. For K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride and connection. When you see someone wearing the K-State purple or a K-State class ring, you will feel that sense of family. In recognition of your graduation, the College of Business Administration 
and the Alumni Association are providing you with a complimentary one-year membership to the Alumni Association. We hope you will enjoy the benefits and continue to be an active member. Our alumni are among the most loyal in the country. In fact, you are now part of the number one alumni association in the Big 12 Conference. And I'm also proud to share that we've been number one for 19 consecutive years. That loyalty is shared nationwide by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you earn your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. The Alumni Association is also pleased to present you with an exclusive alumni business card holder. We hope you enjoy it, and as you go through life and your titles and addresses change, please be sure to let us know. We want to make sure you are always connected to your K-State family. Congratulations and go Cats! Thank you, Amy. We have a number of graduates who have excelled in leadership, scholarship, and service to the college and university community. Graduates, if you have completed the Business Honors Program, earned Professional Advantage Certification, or have served as a business ambassador as an undergraduate, please stand to be recognized. Congratulations on your achievements. <clears throat> it is now my honor to present the CBA Outstanding Graduating Senior in Business Award. This award is selected based on academic excellence and service to the College of Business Administration as an undergraduate. The Outstanding Graduating Senior in Business is chosen by a committee of the Dean's Student Advisory Council, comprised of student leaders elected to represent CBA students. This semester, Ming Mack was selected as both the outstanding senior in business and the student speaker. Ming, please join me at the podium. <clears throat> Ming Mack, a major in finance, has been selected as the fall 2015 recipient of the CBA Outstanding Senior Award. While an undergraduate, Ming has been an excellent student scholar who is actively involved in the life of the college. Ming was raised in Hanoi, Vietnam, and is a graduate of Norfolk Christian High School, uh, where he came as an exchange student in his senior year. His father is Nam Mac, and his mother is Lan Nguyen. Ming desires to have a career as a management consultant or financial investor. His passions include social entrepreneurship and photography, and he is involved in causes that alleviate poverty and that promote education and gender equality. As a student leader, Ming has been a dedicated member and, uh, member and information technology chair of the Student Finance Association and the student investment assistant to the Kansas State University Foundation. He is also the founder and first president of the K-State National Society of Leadership and Success. During his tenure as president of this organization, he has recruited 437 members in two semesters and managed an executive board of 12 people. During his undergraduate career, Ming served as a student consultant to, K to the college's Launch a Business program, collaborating with 10 other MBA and undergraduate students to consult with two startup companies. Ming has been the recipient of numerous achievements and awards while at K-State to include the Von Wadden Investment Management Scholarship, for outstanding performance in finance classes, the Golden Diversity Scholarship in recognition of his high level of involvement in intercultural activities on campus, and the K-State Honors Program. Ming's K-State undergraduate career began as a transfer student from uh, Nisho County Community College. During his, two years at, uh, during his two years at Kansas State, Ming has made significant contributions to the college while maintaining extremely high standards of excellence in his academic achievements. Ming is the first international student to speak at the college's commencement. Okay. Ming, congratulations and the podium is yours. Thank you, Dean Wiener, for the, uh, for the kind introduction. Good afternoon, faculty, staff, family, friends, 
and fellow graduates who technically can still fail to graduate. It's true. Dr. Chu Wang Ganan, please don't worry. I promise I will have the Black Scholes option pricing model memorized by early Tuesday morning. See, I even had to look down on my notes to to get the name out. First off, I would like to thank my parents for their unconditional love and profound sacrifices to make this moment even possible. Con cảm ơn bố mẹ. Back to your point, Mr. Charles Chaucer. So that was me thanking my parents. I'm certain back in Vietnam, my mom is crying while my dad is thinking out loud, that's my boy. Graduate, look down at your Apple watches. It's December 12th, 2015. The question I want you to ask yourself is, what have I accomplished, not during this semester or this year, but rather the first half of this decade? For me, it involved hopping on a 747 exactly five years three months and 10 days ago, flying across the Pacific Ocean. Waited upon my arrival was a big time change, lots of jet lag, and a language barrier as big as the ocean. Yet, in the end, it all paid off with long-lasting friendships, invaluable mentorships, and terrific opportunities to grow, both personally and professionally. International students in the audience, from Zimbabwe, Paraguay, China, Vietnam, or the Czech Republic. Please give yourselves a round of applause. You have successfully fought the fear of the unknown, and I admire your drive and perseverance. For domestic students, truth is you can also relate. At the beginning of this decade, you also had to leave the comfort of your own home and your mom's delicacies to move into Moore Hall and gain a freshman 15 in the derb. Four to five years ago, too, uh, you had to migrate to a new ecosystem called college. All of us have certainly made the right investments to earn ourselves a spot right here, right now, graduating from Kansas State University with a business undergraduate degree. Indeed, life is an endless series of investments, whether it is money, time, or effort. Looking back at our milestones, when somebody gave us that referral, which eventually led to an internship or even a career upon graduation, that was them depositing their trust in us. We are their investment. Talking about investments, since Finance for 50, Professor Scott Hendricks has introduced us all to the most fundamental investment philosophy, diversification. In other words, never put all your eggs in one basket. This mentality of abundance and diversity has added value to my life in many aspects. For instance, diverse life experiences, perspectives, and friendships. There are over 100 cultures represented at K-State. Befriending one another every day, K-Staters get to enjoy the privilege of traveling to almost any country on this planet through the lands of its natives, America included. It would be foolish to say that we have to get out of Manhattan, Kansas to experience the world. So clearly, diversification works. However, when it comes to making the most difficult decisions in life, such as picking a lifetime partner, or selecting a career upon graduation, it is important to think of the flip side of diversification. I call this the single stock portfolio approach. It's obvious we can neither win over the heart of every pretty lady, nor can we try out five different career options within our first employment. It is our job to conduct a thorough analysis of risk versus return to arrive at that final choice. Graduates, only you can be the author to that next chapter of your life. Do your due diligence, pick that single best stock, and go all in. My friends, we are young, and we can take that risk. First day of, first day of that new job, come with a mindset of committed to learning and the determination to work hard, as opposed to wondering if better opportunities exist. 
to quote Mr. Mike Goss, a dedicated KSET alum and a retired F CFO of Bain Capital, during the spring 2015 CBA Distinguished Lecture, he said, just take a deep breath and trust yourself. You can all afford to trust your instincts and your capability. Dean Winner asked me to leave you with something we could think about as we soak in the events of today. Fellow graduates, one more self-reflecting question. As I'm writing my post-graduation chapter for the, next second, for the second half of this decade, what is my investment plan? Congratulations and go Cats. Uh, by the way, I'm still looking for a job <laughs> in uh, either strategy consulting or investment. So uh, if any of you in the audience, you know, including those of you that are watching it online through the broadcast, um, if you know of any opportunity within these areas, uh, my email address is mingmac at ksu.edu. That's M-I-N-H-M-A-C at ksu.edu. I would love to become your investment. Thank you. Thank you, Ming. We appreciate your enthusiasm and look forward to seeing what the future holds for you and your fellow graduates. We like to brag that we have a 95% placement rate in the College of Business, and with your help, we can get it to 96. <laughs> we are now ready to present the degree candidates for the College of Business Administration. Will the candidates for bachelor's degrees from the College of Business Administration please rise and remain standing? President Schultz, on behalf of the faculty of Kansas State University, I am pleased to present to you the College of Business Administration Class of Fall 2015. By the authority of the people of the state of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I am pleased to confer upon you the graduating class of Fall 2015 the degree you have earned at Kansas State University. You may now move the tassel to the left side of your mortarboard. Congratulations. And good luck on finals this week. Please be seated. Please direct the graduates to stand and approach the stage for the awarding of the degrees. Also, will the department heads and representatives from each department please move to the end of the ramp when their respective departments are called. Candidates with a major in accounting. Abigail Marie Atchison, William Tyler Davis, John Thomas Henry Dempster, Piper Lori Earnshaw, Eric Robert Fox, Mitchell Blake Hampton, Jessica Ann Heppenstall, magna cum laude, Jonathan Charles Higgins, cum laude, Anning Lee, Thaddeus Charles Martin, cum laude, Piper Lynn McCord. Luke Richard Myers, 
summa cum laude. Kylie Ann Newton. Allison Danae Sib. Lindsay Marie Smith. Jennifer Steiner. Andrea J. Tagaman, summa cum laude. Sarah Christine Urbanzik, cum laude. Dallas J. White. Nicole Marie Whitmer. Boyang Zhao. Candidates with a major in entrepreneurship. Ivy Gray Brett. Miranda Lynn Burns. Dakota Lyman Coombs. Christopher Dennis Dashke. Aaron James Gilbert. Michael George Lostall. Kayla Marie McKinney. Benjamin Michael O'Laughlin. Aaron Michael Shaw. Tyler Jordan Sweet. Candidates with a major in finance. Susanna Elizabeth Basto Montanez. David Joseph Berry. James Ryan Calvert. Nathaniel Bo Chapman. Patrick Tyler Connell. Sydney Huling Dieck. Wes Dukes. Yi Gu. Jacob Aaron Hyatt. Cody Ray Hollister. Jacob Thomas Ilton, cum laude. Jake Tyler Latimer. Ryan Lingle. How's how ma? Gerald Mashang, cum laude. Matthew John McGovern. Isabel Gail Meyer. Tyler Michael Morrison. Jason Meyer Sandoy. Jessica Marie Sell. Malcolm Taggart Wohler. Chase Allen Woofter, magna cum laude. Ming Zhuang Mack, magna cum laude. Honors Program. Zhongyan Wu. Zhengbang Yang. Candidates with a major in general business. Jan Johan Kayadi. 
Patricia Susan Gill. Michelle Christine Graham. Kathy Ann Ketchum. Carol M. O'Neill. Shannon Amio Shui. Elizabeth Yang. Candidates for the major in management. Alex Christopher Baker. Alan E. Barden. Alex Ray Bowman. Reed Pearson Bergstrom. Ashley Nicole Brummer. Joshua Oscar Camacho. Guan Yu Chen. Ye Wen Chen. Tian Chi Chui. Matthew Lynn Dirksen. Ramon Eduardo Doria Zubizureta. Keely Gisi, Paul William Harris, Ryan Gregory Jackson, Jia Chi Ji, Tyler Jacob Kurth, Rebecca Marie Consortia Lessig. Jing Liu, Jolene Don May, Nathan Lee McKinney, Ashley Nicole McLean, Sebastian Rojas Mendez, Tyler James Munger, Spencer Harrison Murdoch. Taylor Andre Nicholson. Tanner Allen Penry. Caitlin Alicia Patacek. Shin Chi. Andrew Michael Ryan. Daniel Jacob Simonson. Kenzie Irene Smith. Kenneth Andrew Ulick. Amanda Elizabeth Wagner. Kelsey Ann Weber. Jessica Lynn Wright. Logan James Wright. Yang Yang. Yua Zhang. Candidates for the major in Management Information Systems. Deontay Donnell Hayden. Corey L. Kidd. Jacob Tyler Kipp. 
Jacqueline Catherine Long, summa cum laude. Danny Jean Najjar. Candidates for major in marketing. Jordan Alyssa Beck. Brian Joseph Blando. Timothy Morse Boucher. Ben Daniel Boutwell. Craig Kyle Bradley. Courtney N. Brownlee, Honors Program. Ashley Michelle Bunker. Zachary Austin Carlson. Taylor Leanne Carr. Miranda May Cook. Emily Catherine Evans. Alexis Renee Ferris. William Joseph Jennings. Chancellor Ray Graham. Christian Jacob Gray. Dustin Gresher. Glenn Gronkowski II, cum laude. Samuel Wayne Hafner. Lars Graham Hansen, magna cum laude. Andrew J. Hartley. Pamela May Hartley. Ryan Alexandria Hill. Alec Jeffrey Haleen. Scott Holm. Thatcher Alexander David Keast. Anna Catherine Kern. Michael Joseph Leonard. Jordan John Lewis. Daiwei Lee. Joshua William Levy. Matthew Thomas Lynch. Andrew Jonathan Martin. Haley Beth Mazanti. Jared Wayne Knapper. Donald Willard Papoon. Jeffrey Marshall Pike. Harrison Race Prophet. Stephen Mark Redditick. Carly Erica Reagans. Colleen Marie Reardon. Jake Christopher Robinson. Madison Marie Rosenthal. Kylie Jolene Roop. Monty John Sexton. Allison Victoria Smith. Kayla Victoria Summers. Taylor Nicole Stites. Victoria Verstuk. Kaibing Wang. Tyler David Wolf.
Congratulations to all of you. Let us recognize the outstanding accomplishments of these graduates one more time. There is one small housekeeping matter. If you would, please depart the main area of the arena as quickly as possible so that the Bramlage staff can prepare for the next ceremony. You are welcome to meet in the concourse area for pictures and conversation. Graduates, it has been the privilege of the college's administration, faculty, and staff to work with you over the past few years. Would you please follow the marshals to the rear of the Coliseum, up the stairs, and into the concourse area. We would ask that the audience please remain seated until the platform party and the graduates have exited the Coliseum. This concludes our ceremony.